Hello, Mike again. We continue in our Moodle project, and in our last video, we the last thing we did was change our root password. And I mentioned at the time that the, using the console in DigitalOcean is real inefficient, so I want to show you a better way of doing remotely logging in by SSH. We want to use a free client called Putty. You can find it at putty.org. Let's click here. It'll take you to a page where you can download the executable. Then let's go back. The uh, SSH will need the uh, IP address of our droplet. So let's just type in ifconfig. To go back to the droplet panel, I just want to show you something here. So this, this will show us the Ethernet card, NIC, and then it's default in Linux is usually, it's always ETH0 if you have this one card, and then it's incrementally up from that. LO is a loopback address, that's your local host. So in this case on our NIC, we want to look for the INAT address, which is 198199986 for this particular droplet. So we'll use that to log in and with PuTTY. This is a 199.198.199. We use the default port for SSH. And we'll, so we don't have to type this in every time we access. We'll just go ahead and create a Here we have PuTTY for SSH client. Log in as root. You never really want to log in as root. We'll quickly disable that ability and create another account. So, so some of these commands will be covered more thoroughly in other video. So you can use a down key to get to where we need to go here. Just want to find remote login. Hit remote login. In VI, you simply hit X and that will replace that uh, comment. And then X, 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 hit I, that'll put us into insert mode, space, type no, hit escape, colon, write, which is W, then Q, quit. Now that we've made that edit on the, in the, sshd config, config file, we'll need to restart ssh so it'll pick up that change. So we'll type in service sshd, which is a daemon. A daemon is a process that runs behind the scenes. And then we'll just type in restart. So now that change that we made will be picked up and now if we logged out and tried to log back in, 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 in as root, we wouldn't be able to. So what we need to do is add a user and change the password on that, or add a password to that user. Okay, so now we have a new account called Mike, and what we'll need to do is let's just go ahead and we'll leave ourselves logged in with as root but we'll go ahead and open up another putty instance and this time we'll log in as mike So, 
There we go. He's logged in as Mike. So now what we do, since we're blocking root from logging in remotely, how do we get root access? We get root access by typing in su space hyphen. And I honestly couldn't tell you what the hyphen is. So it's su is a super user. So then now if we type in the password for our root account, now we're, now we're in as root. It's just a much more secure way of managing uh, remote access. You never want to expose your root account. You always want to protect your root, your root account, and this is one way of doing it. I think that'll be it for this this video. In the next video, we'll cover uh, some more. Maybe we'll go ahead in the next video and start installing the lamp back.